Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor here, and today I want to show you how to use this 3D printed nested decoder ring in order to send encoded messages to your friends, so let's get on that. So here is the nested decoder ring that I've made, and you'll notice it's got two rings that move independently of each other. They're kind of fun to play with, and that shift, that ability to shift things, is uh, how this works. Now, when you print this yourself, it's going to print in two parts nested so that they never come apart, but it might be that they're a little bit stuck together, maybe because uh, tolerances are wrong, or maybe because you get a little bit of, of stringing between there. You might need to take a little uh, razor blade and just pop it in there around and pop it underneath to separate it and pop it up until you can move it freely. And then just, uh, then just play with it and get it to the point where it spins around freely of each other. I tend to just keep these in my pocket and play with them because <laughs> they're just a lot of fun to fiddle with. All right, so once you've got the ring working, here's how you use it. The first thing you have to do is choose a key. Uh, a key is just, you'll notice that on the top alphabet here, that the A has a, a it's kind of in reverse and darkened. That's because that is, is telling you how to set up the key, and the key is any letter of the alphabet. You can't choose A uh, because then they would all line up. So uh, I'm going to choose L as my key, okay? And in, in this method of encoding, I'm going to simply write L as the, as the first letter of my message, okay? Like that. And then in order to encode, you start at the top ring, and find the letter that you want to encode, and then look, and then write the one on the bottom ring. So, uh, let's say that I want to write the word meat, so I find, I, you just have to keep the rings so that they don't come apart, just hold on to them. I find M, which is O, uh, E is T, E is T, and T is, is D. And you just keep going like that, writing your message out, uh, letter by letter, but looking for the letter on the top that you want to write, and writing the letter on the bottom. Now, you'll notice, if you get the punctuation, like the uh, S uh, apostrophe there, that you, you can't, there's no apostrophe or numbers on here, so you'll have to just write the the uh, apostrophe in there. And in fact, at this point, I might want to write like the number six. If I write the number six, they'll be able to see what it is. So instead, I'll be clever and I'll go, okay, let's see. S is B. Uh, I is uh, X. And X is uh, X is I. That's kind of interesting. So that's my six, B I X instead of S I X for six there. Um, and there's my fully encoded message. And then I take this message and I pass it along to my friend, and they've got their own decoder ring that they were able to print on their own 3D printer. Uh, notice this one, uh, this one I have modified. I, I put some, some color into the uh, ridges, and I used some acetone and uh, printed it in PLA, used some acetone slurry to put it in there, and then wiped it off. PLA doesn't react to the acetone, so I was able to clean it off good. That's how I did that. But even without that, this is a fairly readable uh, ring, the way that it is. And so now, the person who's decoding it sees that the key is L, so they find the A and then line it up with the L, and then they hold it in place, and then they look at the first letter, which is O, and they find it on the bottom ring, so there's O, and they write instead the letter on top, M, and then they find the T, and they write the letter above it, E, E, and then they find the D uh, on the bottom ring, and they write the T above it, and they keep going in this way, uh, writing the message letter by letter, uh, until they, they get the secret message written out, uh, and they know that you want to meet them at Arby's at 6 p.m. Message transmitted, and only your friend with the decoder ring was able to read it. How cool is that? <laughs>
So the encoding method that I showed you to use this ring just now isn't the most secure method, uh, cryptography speaking, cryptographically speaking, uh, but it is the simplest and easiest. To make it more secure, you could do things like, you notice instead of doing A, B, C, D, that you could shuffle one of the alphabets so that they're not in order. And uh, we call that permuting the alphabet. And if you permute the alphabet, then you can only decode it if you have this decoder ring. A simple straight ABC shift wouldn't work. And in fact, this ring that I did the demo with today was a permuted alphabet. This is a very special ring. How do you get this special permuted alphabet? you got to support me on Patreon. If you support me on Patreon, you get this, the, the 3D model for this ring that you can print yourself, and you can use it to decode the messages that are at the beginning of these videos and have been at the beginning of several videos uh, now for a while. If you watch the introduction in the last half a second before the introduction goes off the screen, there's a message, and this is the ring that you need to decode it. You just use the method that I showed you earlier in order to decode the message. And there's lots of fun messages in there for you. Just a little, just a little gift. Thank you very much for watching. Happy encoding. Remember, safety first and go do something awesome. I'll see you next time.